Niner Baby Fashion Show, McIntyre in the morning, 5 to 10, Talk Radio 790 KBC. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is Tim Conway Jr. sitting in for Al Rantel here on Talk Radio 790 KABC. And speaking of uh, jokes, uh, we have a. Um, I got to do something. I got to take a minute here and talk to uh, Les Siegel. Les, how are you? Nice to see you, sir. Thanks to be here. All right, now, Les, you've been the producer here on, on KABC for how many years? Since the Bay of Pigs invasion. Since 23 years. You've been here 23 years. Yeah. Producing shows. Right. Uh, you produce uh, Al, the Al Rantel show, very popular show. Yeah. Uh, Larry Elder's show. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you on before that? Uh, the Sports Talk with Steve Edwards. And before that, they had Superfan. And you go way back. Uh, you know, Eric Tracy. You go back to Michael Jackson? I, I didn't work with him, but he was here, yeah. Wow, is that unbelievable? Yeah. All right, since uh, I'm going to be here for the next uh, you know, four weeks or so, and then Al's coming back, I bet you can't wait for Al to come back, right? No, you're great. Please get out of here. Um, but I want to get—I want to gauge your sense of humor. Uh -oh. So when I when I when I book guests, I know that um, you know I, I like to understand the people I work with, what their sense of humor is, because pe everyone has a different sense of humor, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to lay some jokes on you and 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 see if you think they're funny. Okay. And I'd also like to uh, have the audience call and try to make uh, less laugh here. I want to try to gauge what your sense of humor is. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see if you can make less. Siegel laugh here. 1 800 222 KABC. 1 800 222 KABC. Uh, now, I, I, um, I envision you, and I've only known you for a week or so, maybe even less than a week. I've only actually seen you about three or four days. Mm -hmm. A fairly serious man. Well, you know, it's a, you know, working here, you, you just, you know, you end up being very serious. Right. And, and who's your favorite stand up comic? Oh. Who'd you pay to see? Uh, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Very good. I yeah. love Chris Rock. All right, I'm going to lay some uh, jokes on you here and see if we can make you laugh, all right? Okay. All right. Uh, guy walks into a doctor's office because he's going to get uh, examined. He's going to have a, you know, a, a physical. And he takes all his clothes off. He gets up on the table. And the doctor is looking at him. He goes, okay, the first thing I'm going to have to ask you to do is, I hate to say this, but you've got to stop masturbating. And the patient's like, why? And the doctor says, because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> okay, good one. See that? Yeah. He's actually, uh, you know, hitting that stick while he's getting uh, examined. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, there's a sign in you, the wind. You don't hear these on KBC. <laughs> yeah, you very rarely hear that on KBC. Right. I, you know, you know I, I'm trying I, to loosen it up a little over here until I get fired. You know, until uh, <laughs> you know, Al comes back and they're like, "What the hell happened over there?" When Ray Breen was on, we didn't do this. I know. I know. <laughs> well, uh, Ray is uh, Ray's also a very funny guy. Yeah. Um, but uh, I like to uh, you know see uh, <laughs> how long it'll take before they ask me to stop coming back here. <laughs> okay, here's another one. The uh, guy walks by a pet store. And it says, uh, talking dog for sale, $5. So he walks in the pet store. He goes, uh, hey, uh, where's the uh, talking dog for $5? He goes, uh, he's in the other room. So the guy goes in the other room and says, hey, you the talking dog? And the dog goes, yeah. He says, uh, well, what's your story? He says, well, I used to work for the CIA. And then before that, I worked for the FBI. And even before that, I worked for the New York Police Department. And I was the undercover uh, cop because I could go into the mob and then report back to the cops and tell everybody what the mob was doing and I was uh, I was like a snitch on the mob. Mm -hmm. He goes you've had a fascinating fascinating life, dog. He goes, "Yeah." He goes, "Uh really uh, you know." And be and before that, I actually asked, actually belonged to Ronald Reagan and sat in the White House there for 8 years. So the guy goes to the counter and says, "How much for the talking dog?" He goes, uh, "$5." He goes, "$5? Why is he so cheap?" He goes, "Because he's an effing liar." I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so cheap because the dog's a liar. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Great joke, ma'am. All right, here's another one for you. <laughs> okay, good Here's one. another one for you, Les. All right. Analyze that one. Again, folks, uh, I'm trying to make uh, Les laugh here, so uh, <laughs> easy. Uh, if you'd like to uh, chime in and uh, try to make Les uh, Siegel laugh, again, a fairly serious guy, 1-800-222-KABC. Here's another one. Uh, traveling door-to-door uh, -door salesman mm -hmm. is running down the, uh, you know, the, the block, knocks on a door. Eight-year-old kid answers. He's wearing nothing but his sister's bra. He's covered in KY jelly, and his mom's underwear is on his head. And the 
traveling salesman says to the kid, hey, uh, your parents home? And the kid goes, what the F do you think? <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, it was it's a, a decent one. joke. It's a good one. It's a solid joke. Yeah. All right, here's another <laughs> one for you. Uh, what's better than winning a gold medal at the Special Olympics? Well, I'm going to like this one. What? Yeah, not being retarded. <laughs> It's a solid joke. It's a solid, solid joke. All Good right, one. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can use that one. I'm going to use that one. Yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow at coffee. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to uh, Eric here in Los Angeles. Eric, you're on Talk Radio 790 KBC. How are you, sir? Not too bad. How are you doing? Eric? All right. You got a uh, you got a joke there? Try to make less laugh. Yeah, it's a little short one here. It's kind of a quip. Um. A young Jewish boy asks his father for fifty dollars, and his father says, forty dollars. What do you want thirty dollars for?" <laughs> All right, do you get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank good. you, yeah. dude. Maybe we should have less explained jokes. It, it's a, a, a stereotypical joke, right? You know, it's like ah, oh, you know, the uh, Jewish people, you know, yeah, you know, cheap. That's what it is, right? Cheap. Joke. I, I, it was just me. That sounded like me growing up. So. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Now, what's your favorite joke growing up? You must have one. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I, I'll lay another one on you. Yeah, All right. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> an ape escapes from the L.A. Zoo, and they uh, they're looking for this ape, and um, they can't find it themselves. So they go to the Yellow Pages, and they look under Ape Finder. Like, oh, by God, there's some guy there who finds apes. So they call him up, and the guy shows up, and he says, uh, I can find that ape for you for $10,000. He goes, $10,000, that's a lot of money. He goes, well, you want the ape back, it'll cost you ten grand." He goes, all right, uh, what's the plan? He goes, well, here's the plan. <clears throat> I I, and and he, uh, he has a gun with him, too. And the zookeeper says, wait a minute, you're not going to shoot this ape, are you? He says, no, 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 let me tell you the plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up that tree and shake that limb until that ape falls off. And then my dog here is going to run up to that ape and bite his balls. Mm -hmm. And he goes, okay, I'm going up in that tree. You hold the gun. And the zookeeper goes, hey, wait a minute. He goes, you're not going to shoot this ape. What, what's the gun for? He goes, well... If I fall out of that tree first, you shoot my dog. <laughs> yeah. Decent yeah. joke. Decent good. Yes. <laughs> just, just trying to gauge Les's uh, humor here. I, I remember, I'm just one of these uh, fat producers. Ah, oh, please. And uh, by the way, how old are you? You're in your 40s? Yeah. 40 what? 50. 50 years old? Yeah. Oh, you look in good shape for a 50-year-old. Oh, thanks. Look at you. I, well, remember, I remember listening uh, to you on, uh, it was uh, the Larry Elder show. Yeah. And you were on one night, and Larry had just explained something, and then said to you, hey, Les, what did I just tell the audience? And <laughs> you didn't know. And I think Larry said, well, if, if I can't, if you're not listening to the show, why would I expect anybody else out there to listen to the show? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one. All right, here we go. Les Siegel's first joke. Is this your first joke you've ever told on KBC? Yeah. All right, here no, we bro, go. This is, I'm stealing this from uh, Jim Healy. Okay. This is an old horse racing joke. Um, it's You're at Santa Anita, and it's the um, second race, and this guy is uh, jumping up and down. All of a sudden, he uh, clutches his chest and starts to breathe, and he uh, dies. And... The the paramedics, of course, you don't know he's dead yet. And the paramedic, uh, everyone, you know, rushes over and they they want to know. Uh, and you know, his son is there. And they, oh my God, my dad, he's he's he, he, is he um, is he uh, alive? And the paramedic says, uh, only in the double. <laughs> That's a solid joke. Look at you. <laughs> All right, Les Siegel, everybody. Congratulations, man. You're a major stud, a great producer here at KBC. Oh, thanks. And uh, he's been here for 23 years. 23 years, and you couldn't ask for a uh, nicer guy. All right, we've got to take ourselves a, a short break here. It is Tim Conway, Jr. in for Al Rantel on Talk Radio 790 KABC. And it's time for a little traffic with Cindy Berkey, man.